today I've got my yearly tattoo appointment with myself and I'm going to be tattooing the palm of my hand. Back in 2015, I tattooed this on the palm of my hand and clearly it healed really badly. So we're going to cover it up and make it look cooler. And hopefully over the last eight years, I became better at tattooing and it'll actually stay this time. In the tattoo world, there is a little bit of a misconception that you can't successfully tattoo the palm of the hand or the sole of the feet because it just won't stay. And this is true if you are tattooing those areas like you would any other. So there's a couple things to keep in mind, but number one is your design. You wanna make sure to keep it bold and simple. I did make a video a little while ago about tattooing the bottom of my client's foot. It healed really well. I only needed to do one touch up on it and it was a successful tattoo. So I'm gonna use the same uh, technique that I used on her on the palm of my hand. I guess I will kind of explain what I'm doing here. All right, so for the outline, what I'm gonna do, since this is gonna be a negative, uh, so what I mean by that is the actual beetle is going to be my skin, and then the outside is going to be black. Uh, what I'm gonna do first to make sure that the stencil's there is I'm gonna take a tight three and just do uh, dot work all around the whole stencil, so then that way I'm not uh, worried about my sloppy wiping just because I'm gonna have to wipe with the same hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back with a seven liner and I'm gonna do really dense dot work uh, right next to the stencil. I'm gonna kind of fade it out. Then that way I'm gonna be able to cover what I previously had and uh, obviously you're gonna be able to see some of it still, but it is what it is. So that's the plan, let's do it. Hey, that doesn't look like a gun. Okay, to recap, this is my hand now. Uh, it felt amazing, as you can tell. I don't know if you can see, but my hand is quite swollen. But either way, I'm really happy the way that it turned out. It does look really solid. I'm guessing that I am going to need a slight touch up here where my pinky bends a little bit. Besides that, I think that I'm gonna be good when it comes to healing. I am gonna do a follow-up video to this. I'm gonna do basically a video of just the entire healing process and what this looks like day by day. Um, so we will see together how this turns out. So keep an eye out for that video. If you are planning on doing this yourself, eat a lot, have some snacks on hand, and drink a lot of water because you are in for a treat. Thank you for watching, everybody. Talk to you later. Goodbye.